Hi everybody, Mark Nelson here with Rio Grande Tech Support, here to talk to you about a really fabulous tool that really should be in part of every shop, and that's Jet Set Fixturing Compound. What it is, is it's a thermal plastic that when you heat it up, you can mold it to any kind of shape that you need, and then use it, and then when you need to pull your piece out, you just simply warm it up and pull your piece out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover how to set it up so you can use it. We'll also, also cover several different ways that you can use it. And then we'll also finish up with how to remove your pieces um, from the jet set. To begin with, what you're gonna need is some warm water. Now according to the instructions, you're gonna need uh, warm water between the temperature of 155 degrees and 170 degrees. And it's gonna be really important that you don't go over the temperature recommended in the instructions because if you do that, it can destroy the compound. And one of the great things about this compound is that you can reuse it over and over and over again simply by warming it up, reforming it and cooling it, warming it up and reforming it and cooling it. So you're gonna have your warm water. It's gonna to help to have a strainer and also some tongs because this will be hot material. It'll help keep you from burning your fingers. The jet set's gonna come in these little tiny pellets and they'll either be this white compound or more of the basic, which is kind of a, a clear. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we can put that in our pot with the strainer. And the reason why we want to use a strainer is because these are small pellets and they like to float around a lot. And the strain will help contain them and make it a lot easier to form into that first initial form. I already have some in there. So I can come in here and take some out. I try not to reach into the hot water, I'm using tongs to kind of pick some up and then forming it with my fingers. It's a little warm to the touch, but it's usually not too bad. And you can just kind of shape it how you need it. And really work those little pieces and pellets together to keep creating one solid mass. And now if it starts to firm up, as you're working with it and it's cooling down, you can always place this back in there, warm it up a little bit more, and keep on forming it. So once we have it into a, a mass that we can use, let's say we wanna hold something like a ring. We can uh, put this in a ring clamp, open up the ring clamp, and then push that in there. And let's see, I have a little too much here. I can pull some off, put that in my pot. And we can go ahead and stick that ring in there to hold it. Now one great thing about the Jet Set Compound is that it will support the ring underneath the gallery and the head so that as you're setting that stone, you're not gonna push down anything or accidentally bend anything. So it's gonna give the whole piece a lot of support. Once that sets up, and it'll take a couple of minutes to set up. If you need it to go faster, if you're in a rush, you can always just kind of dip it in some cold water and that'll really help it solidify much faster. And that's all there is to actually using the compound, but that's not all it can do. It can hold flat items really, really well for engraving or pave setting. Here's a pave setting used with the basic compound. Let's say you have a small pave setting that you need to hold. One thing I like to do is use the basic compound. This is a little different. It's clear in color and it's much more pliable and it stays. Wherever you push it, it'll just stay, it won't spring back. So we can create a little form here. And one reason I like to use the, the basic for this type of thing is because it does stay in place very, very easily. And you have a lot of time to form it. The basic will take longer to cool down and solidify. So we'll use a little tool here to kind of clamp that pave setting in place without getting in the way of the work that needs to be done. Once this solidifies, you can definitely drill it. Uh, no problems there. So as you're doing your setting, the jet set's not really gonna get in your way if you're cutting your seats or your, or your pilot holes for that. And once we have everything in place, we can let that cool. Or like I said, we can dunk it in cold water. And as this gets colder, 
it'll get much whiter. Kind of like that color right there. One very neat thing about the two different compounds, that let's say you like something in between, you can certainly mix them, whatever proportion that you like. Um, mixing the two will give you a totally different property, which just might be perfect for what you need. Another thing that can be done with the jet set is you can make a holder for doing multiples. Here's that ring that I did earlier. You can just simply pull it out now. But if I had a whole bunch of these rings I needed to do, I could make a holder that these would just snap into. Like that. I could use this in a ring clamp, do my work on that, take it out, and put the next one in. So it comes in very handy that way. Another thing you can do with it is actually use it for metal clay and it'll pick up a texture so you can use it as a texturing tool for metal clay. You can also use it for making handles. Nice thing about making a custom handle that fits your hand is that if you have any arthritic um, issues, you, it'll help um, keep those at bay and this will conform to your hand every time you pick it up. And you can do it for all different sizes of files down to the smallest. You can also use it on your pliers because it is non-marring. We can take a little of this jet set here. Take it on our pliers and shape it to any kind of shape that you want. We'll let that cool. And you could do that on both sides of the pliers, one side of the plier, it's totally customizable. You can even make a hammer out of it. Now this wouldn't be a permanent hammer, but it would definitely work great for a lot of different forming situations. It's gonna be nice and sturdy. If it gets misshapen after use, you can simply warm it up and reshape it, and it'll go back to however you like it. Another application is sometimes, because this is soaked in water, it's gonna get a little wet, and um, you may not want to get water into your piece or um, the compound into the details of your piece. You can wrap it up in a plastic bag and use it as a clamp that way. Now removing the items is pretty easy. You're just going to warm up the material, let it soak for a little bit, get nice and soft, and then you can pull your piece right out. Now you might find that there's going to be little bits and pieces of the jet set lodged in different little, little places. If you let it cool, a lot of times you can poke those out with the instrument, or you can rewarm it up and try and pull it out that way. If all else fails and you can't get the jet set out from underneath the stone or something like that, you can use a product called Attack. This is going to be a, a solvent, and you can soak your pieces in that. It might take 30 minutes, possibly an hour. The jet set will, will be gone at that point, and you won't be able to reuse it. One thing to note about the Attack it is very, very fumy, so you must use it with ventilation and also it evaporates very, very quickly. So you want to pour it into a container that has an airtight lid on there so that it doesn't evaporate as you watch it. That's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed this segment. If you have any questions, do contact us at 1-800-545-6566 or visit us on the web at riogrande.com.